Hey, what's going on? JD here and I have a quick tutorial for you. Today, we are gonna jump directly into Final Cut Pro and show you how to create a vintage look for your footage directly within the program without the use of any other programs or plugins. All right, so we're just gonna jump right into it. So we're gonna actually start adding noise to give it that vintage look. So we're gonna drop add noise in there. We're going to change the blend mode first off. We're going to change that to a color dodge. And then we are going to add a Gaussian noise and we're just gonna play with that amount a little bit and start to get it where we can start to see some color noise there in the black. And you can see those dots starting to appear. Then we're gonna add some blur as a whole and that is way too much. So we're gonna tone that down. We want to give this kind of a softer feeling uh, like it was taken with a older video camera versus the Sony a7 III that it was taken with. So we're gonna dial that right down and we're just gonna get it to a point where we feel that it's just kind of soft enough and we're just gonna play with the slider to achieve that. So we're just gonna play around with that slider until it is to our liking and it is starting to look pretty good. Now what we're gonna do is we're actually going to sharpen the image. Now you're gonna say we just blurred it up. Why are we gonna sharpen it? Again, what we are looking to do is create some image noise that would be present in old sort of footage. So we're gonna mess with that sharpening a bit and you're gonna see again, if you take a look in our blacks, you can see some color variants there, some speckling in the noise and that's really kind of what we're looking for. Uh, you can see it in the trees as well and and that is going to be exactly what we want to do. All right, so now we're going to add an effect that we used in our Motion 5 tutorial for the VHS effect. It's here in Final Cut as Perel. It is bad TV, so we're just gonna drop that in there. It's going to add some lines across there and get a little bit of an old TV look. And then what we're going to do is we're going to change the static blend mode. And what we're gonna do is change that. I think we're gonna change it to soft light uh, and it's going to change kind of the look of the image, give it a little bit more of an older look. Uh, so we're going to do that and I'm thinking right there, uh, we're gonna drop that down a bit or maybe a bit more. Again, you can play with the slider to get sort of the appearance that you want. Uh, of course, in here you can add roll as well, which will roll it up and down, uh, but we're not gonna go for that effect today. So we're just going to set that roll to zero. So now we're gonna move on to the next effect. Uh, what we're gonna utilize this time is prism. Again, we're gonna create some color variations. And as you can see, when we drop it in there right away, it creates kind of that old uh, film look where it's, you know, the oranges and the blues are not kind of centered on the image. And you can see uh, by shifting the dial there, we can change the direction. That's a little too harsh. I actually like where it kind of started off. Uh, so we're just gonna kind of go there. Again, you can do this to your own personal preference, but I just kind of like that little bit of orange that is on the fringe and the little bit of blue that is back of the head. I think that is a nice look. So we're going to stick probably with that and about that amount there. So from here, you can go to the color board and what we can do is we can change things like the saturation and we're gonna drop that down a little bit so it looks a little more 
washed out. And then what I think we're going to do is we're actually going to jump over to the highlights and we're going to bump those up. So those whites are just a little bit overexposed, much like you would experience in an inferior sensor on your camera. Uh, you can also mess with the color a bit. I'm going to go a little bit warmer, even though this is a bit of a winter scene to give it kind of that kind of old filmish look. And there you go. So that's how you do it plain and simple as we've shown you before you can do this also in motion 5 in fact you can jump back to another tutorial where we show you how to create the vhs effect and we give a free download there thanks for tuning in guys remember like comment subscribe leave a comment down below and until next time see ya